What chilling place is our 40 day seekers going today? We shall find out. <laughs> Mr. Wade here. I'm actually at the actual house of Charles Lanson Gang. Murdered two people inside this house. Right here. I'm gonna let you know all about it. I'm on site right now. Morning hours of Sunday, August 10th, 1969, Manson slipped into the home of Lino and Rosemary LaBianca to survey the scene. According to Charles Tex Watson's memoir, Will You Die For Me, Manson returned to the car moments later and summoned Watson to come with him. Rousing Lino LaBianca from his sleep, Manson held a gun on the grocery store president, assuring him that he wasn't going to be harmed. Manson stated he was after money and nothing else. Watson bound LaBianca's hands behind his back while Manson went to the bedroom to retrieve Rosemary. Further assuring the frightened couple that they wouldn't be hurt, Manson left the house with Rosemary LaBianca wallet. Moments later, Patricia Krenwinkel and Leslie Van Houten entered the LaBianca home with orders to kill. As Manson's followers were left to their bloody work, Charles Manson, Susan Atkins, Linda Kasabian, and Steve Clem Grogan left the scene. According to Bugliosi's book Helter Skelter, Manson gave Kasabian Rosemary LaBianca's wallet and instructed her to wipe off any incriminating fingerprints and remove the change. LaBianca's driver's license and, most importantly, her credit cards were to remain untouched. Manson explained that he was going to drive to a predominantly black neighborhood where Kasabian was to toss the wallet on the sidewalk. Explaining that a person of color would find the wallet and use the credit cards, Manson hoped that the press and the authorities would blame the murders on the Black Panthers. Thank you.